Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Derek Ong with the continuation series of uh, videos on how to use Smart PLS for uh, data analysis for structural equation modeling. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about moderation, what it is, and I'll be splitting my moderation video into two. This video will concentrate on how to do moderation for categorical variable and the next video will be for continuous variable. So, a moderator is a variable that changes the relationship and probably uh, the significance for one group and not the significance for the other, and it can be an independent variable. Um, sometimes it looks at the rate of change. If there are parallel, then you know, there is no moderation. So, for instance, since you have a hypothesis, you must state the form of the moderation when you're doing hypothesis and not just the moderation itself. So, you need to say that uh, you can't say gender moderates something, but you need to say how is the strength of the moderation. So, for example, uh, the positive relationship between satisfaction and loyalty will be stronger when perceived image is high. So the hypothesis of strength of moderation needs to be there. So for example, again, BMI moderates the relationship between exercise and weight loss, such that for those with a low BMI, the effect is negative. So for example, if you gain weight, that means you know exercise and weight loss will make you gain weight, uh, if that can work. And for those with high BMI, the effective positive, you lose weight when exercising. So hypothesis is a direction and in terms of the change in moderation. So that's where you need to be very certain of how you write your hypothesis. Um, I'm going to show you how graphing uh, in moderation is important and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you find any moderation, then you graph. But if you don't find any moderation, there is no need for you to graph. Okay. Now, if you're using a nominal moderator, uh, for example, uh, male or female with just two categories, make sure you always um, recode them as zero and one and leave the continuous moderators as it is because then there is a certain way that you want to deal with the moderator. So, uh, as I mentioned to you, um, we're going to look at the difference between a continuous moderator as well as a categorical moderator. It's kind of like a multi-group analysis, but I'm going to do a, 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 a video later on on how to look at multi-group analysis. So, we are only going to be looking at one relationship uh, with the moderation effect. Okay, so this is the data set that we're going to use, uh, attitude towards co-workers, environment perception, uh, job satisfaction, and staying in tension with gender as a moderator. So if you know how to draw the model, please uh, draw the model on your own. But if you don't, I'm just going to show you how the model can be, uh, is already drawn uh, here in the categorical moderator. All right. So what we want to look at is these two, does it have any effect on job satisfaction when gender is added to the mix? So does gender moderate this and does gender moderate this? So as I mentioned just now, always make sure to have minimum and maximum. So zero is uh, known as female and one is known as male uh, in this example sorry <clears throat> so I'm just going to put the gender here sorry <coughs> my mistake so I'm just going to put gender as a latent variable Name this as a single latent variable with a connector and there we go. So gender is there and um, we are going to, going to create the uh, moderating variable straight away. Now 
When we want to create the mod rating variable, we have to point our cursor to the dependent variable and make sure that we add a mod rating effect. Now, in the mod rating effect, we will be asked whether uh, what is our mod rating effect and whether or not we're going to have a product indicator unused and unstandardized. Now, for product indicator unstandardized is mainly used for nominal binary coding. So we're going to be using the product indicator unstandardized. And if you're doing numerical, then we will use the mean centering, which is later on that we will lose. Okay, so standardizing means uh, minus the mean and uh, mean minus the score divided by the standard deviation. The weighing model is just going to be automatic. All right, so we come back here. So our moderator variable will be gender. We will do one by one, independent towards co-workers. Make sure you change this to product indicator, not to stage. Uh, we're going to put unstandardize and this will be automatic. So we're going to press OK. And we have the first moderating effect, which is attitude towards co-workers and gender. So just to be sure, let's just rename this gender times attitude towards co-worker so that we don't get mixed up. And um, we need another one for environmental perception. We'll add that in. The same thing again, just that now we're using environmental perception, sorry, environmental perception as your independent variable, product indicator, unstandardized, okay. And we're going to change this product to gender times environmental perception. Good. Now all we need to do is just run the uh, bootstrapping to see if um, the um, um, what do you call this, the uh, 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 interaction variables are um, significant. If they are significant, then you do the graphing. If they are not, then you don't. Okay, so if we look at this, it seems that the gender environmental perception is not significant, but the gender towards co-workers is significant. So if we look at this, this is significant, this is not significant. So we only need to graph this one. All right. Now, how do we graph this? So first things first, let's just copy this information which is quite important, Excel format into a moderator Excel binary. Now, I'm just going to show you where to get this, uh, this particular Excel sheet, right? So all you need to do, if you want this Excel sheet for binary, go to this um, website called jeremydawson.co.uk slopes for the binary moderator please look at this link this two-way with binary moderator click on this link and you will get this binary excel all right so shouldn't be that difficult okay so now the independent variable that I'm going to put here is attitude towards co-worker 
female is the value of 0, male is the value of 1. Independent variable towards the unstandardized regression, right? Use the, um, uh, what do you call this, the uh, uh, original, and you have 0 0.095, which is here. 0 0.095, attitude towards co-workers to uh, job satisfaction, 0 0.095. The moderator, which is uh, gender towards the job satisfaction is negative 0 0.06. Use the unstandardized. And the interaction of gender towards co-workers is 0 0.281, which is here. Now, the intercept, leave it, mean and standard deviation, leave it. Don't have to do anything, don't have to change anything because we're not uh, looking at any of this uh, information. So, as you can see, you have the graph which shows that um, with low um, attention to co-workers, your uh, job satisfaction is lower, but when you have high attention to co-workers, your job satisfaction goes higher. And this is true for the males, but it is actually the opposite for the females. So how do you um, uh, report this? What you do is you take this whole thing again, if you remember, and uh, you need the um, PLS, confidence interval bias corrected. Just take the whole thing. I'll show you how to do. And put it here. Sorry. Just copy. And paste. Okay. So now, what's important is to show the sum original mean. Theorem. Okay, so what you need to do is show these values, right? And then show the value here. Uh, original, um, sorry, Is the, yeah, okay, so original, delete, you need the standardized beta. You need the um, standard deviation. You need the t stats. You don't need the p values, not important. Uh, you need the um, uh, ninety five percent confidence interval. So take away all this. Right, so again, this will be 95% CI LL and 95% CI UL. Okay, with of course H1, H2, H3, H4, and H5. And if you want H6, so of course, the H that we are most um, uh, the, uh, the hypothesis that we are most um, 
concerned about is, of course, the hypothesis of the uh, moderation, which is this one. Yeah, this is your lucky star. Right, so once again, oops, sorry, change is that. Ah, not this one. Yeah, this will be better. So once again, um, the best way to do this is to um, use the same formatting for the tables and put this formatting in, showing that this is uh, significant, and then pasting this particular um, graph into your Microsoft Word. Okay, so remember um, to fashion your hypothesis in a way whereby it shows the effect of the group on the moderator. All right, and the next video will consider um, moderation on um, the uh, continuous variables. All right, thank you.